we're officially Mainers. We are officially Mainers. Three generations of lobstermen right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're not giving up. No, no, no. no. Surf and turf, baby. Surf and turf. <laughs> Portland headlight from the water this time, so <laughs> this is a different view than we're normally getting. You hear the fall going? Yeah. All right, good morning. Um, Today's gonna be a good day. Uh, even yeah, though we're is. from Maine, we've never actually been out on a lobster boat and that's what we're doing today. My buddy, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit more, is taking us out on his boat, um, awesome. his father's boat. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I was supposed to do it several times, but just, you know, over the years, just things just didn't work out. Um, it's working out today. And the wedding was a success. Absolutely, it was such a beautiful day. We were so happy for my mom and her new husband, Tom. And that was one of the main reasons for us to come back to Maine was to be here to celebrate uh, their new life together and their new someday. And we're Lily, in their yard still we actually. We are also coming home to have Lily do driver's ed. So that was another main thing and that's why we're here for a little longer than usual. She's gonna be a good driver. Very important. She actually is excellent already. So yeah. she's gonna do great. So we are off to Portland. Okay, we made it down to the wharf, parking some pain down here, but uh, we got we made it happen. We're heading out here pretty soon. Are you vlogging? We're vlogging. I feel like I'm in the movie The Proposal. Yes. <laughs> Hence the boat. Psst. You know I can't swim. Hence the boat. Looking good, Moss. Take your time, though. She comes with a lot of baggage. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Watch your back. Watch your back. Congratulations. You're here so long. Congratulations. I'm 100 years old. Do anything with a seal. Yeah. You get in a federal problem. But the great whites are here to do one thing eat them. Yeah. That's why they're here. The population can be bigger and bigger. And bigger. It is smaller now. Down, just a little ways down, Flappin Island, yeah. down like that. Guys are on the radio going, big, something big here. Porpoise is cut in half, the wow. seals cut in half. Because wow. the sharks will bite, let them bleed out, then eat. Yeah. And they just feed. Yeah, we never saw this a was, shark. This was the back. Yeah. The seals used to jump on the back of the boat. When we were getting bait, they'd come right up. That's cool. Are you guys ready to go catch a lobster today or what? Yes. All right. Them all in, and then once they're all in, they're gonna rebait them and just throw them all back out. So we say it all the time. You have 
got to get out on the water wherever you are. The last time we were here, we actually just took a ferry out with Less Junk More Journey just to get them out onto Casco Bay. It's way better than the ferry. Uh, way better. kids are going down to band. We'll go and see how that process goes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect footage right there. Am I on television? Right now you are. Oh, hi. Sorry. You made the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Hold right. that thing to mess up the stringer. I'll wait a little bit. How's it mean? The truck left the way of this now on. Put this on. Right, Oops, sorry. sorry. See where it hits right there? And we use the keeper. So you're measuring each one, Billy? Yeah, the ones that look close. Like this one's a short, yeah. just to show you. Yeah. See that? Yep. So you gotta chuck them back? Yep. This one will be good. Yeah, yeah honey. Someday. Someday. Days like this, that's the name of the boat. So Bill just said he's taking us out to Portland Headlight where we normally like to take all of our friends that come to visit Maine and go have donuts. So we're gonna actually go check it out on the water this time. It's over here. There it is. This is a different view than we're normally getting. This is so awesome. We've been out through the bay before, but we've never gotten this close on the water. This is pretty cool. You hear the foghorn? Yeah. Putting on some more. Right now, because of a rich man. It's going to happen, don't you? You wouldn't end up on the first day. Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> Those people would take a picture. They're going to end up yeah, on the first day. They're, they're happy. They're like a lighthouse, a lobster boat. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This is beautiful. Uh, he was saying that these lobster traps right here yep. are smaller boats. Oh, okay. That can go in. They can, can go in closer. And that's how he started 40 years ago. Oh, my gosh. What a legacy. We used to fish all the way up to the Grand all the way up. Yeah. So we're heading out to Ram? Ram Island. We'll go over that way. There's Ram Popeyes! This is loud, but so much fun. So this is the lighthouse that's off of Portland Headlight that you can see from Portland Headlight. So Portland Headlight is over here, back here. <laughs> so that's the main headlight that you see. Another story. I used to do a lot of scuba diving. Okay. 
So I used to dive all around these islands and shores and then look for the wrecks up on the Cape Shore and stuff. We found this massive, massive skull deck. And it was only in about 30 feet of water. So we scoped it out and then we got home another fella to shut. So we said, when scallop season opens, we're gonna come out here and we're gonna make a fortune. It's right here. So we dove and we couldn't find the skull. They were gone. Okay. And we looked and we looked and we looked. Where the heck did they go? We had like two scallops where there was there was thousands of them that you could just reach. Hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. The scallops had moved from that shore, that's where we were. They had moved out here into deeper water. I never knew. I didn't know a thing about scallops. Yeah. So a couple back then they were dragging for them too. A couple boats came by, put their drags in. There was 20 boats that worked here for a month sucking up all those stuff. Oh, oh, they were, they were right working the, around the clock. Oh my right there gosh. The grabbing yeah. the gun that, was my, that was my winning lottery ticket. <laughs> and I lost it. And you lost it. <laughs> Generations of lobstermen right there. That's pretty cool. Hit Billy on the head one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the seal. Look at the baby seal. Yeah. So see? cute. I see him. Hi, Billy. Yeah. Hey, Billy. I can't explain it, this is so much fun. I've been out on Casco Bay on jet skis, sailboats, power boats, kayaks, everything, but never in a lobster boat. I don't know why it's taken until I was 40 years old to get out on this water, because Billy here, as we've been talking about this for like 10, 15 years coming out here, and you know what time does, I mean it just, but it eventually happened, here it we are. It totally does. So. Billy is a very dear friend of ours. He and his wife, uh, Whitney, went to high school with Corey and I. And his dad, Big Bill, is the one that's been driving the boat and captaining the boat. Um, has been out here for 40 years, like he said, um, lobstering and, and being out on these waters and being able to be around someone who's done this for so long. Oh, and he yeah. knows like the ins and outs of every inlet and every rock. And then Billy uh, grew up out here on the water. And, and we've mentioned Billy before, but back, way back in season one, um, he owns a restaurant in Raymond, Maine called The Fisherman's Catch. Yes, yeah, so, so make sure you guys you get out there if you're in the Semega Lakes area. Amazing lobster rows. You guys know that we love knowing the process of something and like yes. how all this works. Oh my gosh, so, there's so much to so this. Much. Just because you catch it doesn't mean you can keep it. That's there's right. sizes. And if they've been notched because they've been seen with babies, that means they're breeders and they have to go back in because that's how they can continue creating more lobsters. There's so just, there's, there's so much it's into amazing. it. It's amazing. It's not safe work. Like, no, I mean you can get lines, your, your hand caught in those winches sure. just like just like when we were in Alaska. Yes. Um, and I was able to go out on that Alaska uh, purse sailing boat. It's just it's dangerous work but it's it's amazing. It's just amazing. I'm so fortunate to be able to do that as well and have this uh, I don't know the two different experiences. Yes. These guys are such hard workers and it oh my is gosh, yeah. inspiring and motivating to be around people who are out here. Like in the summertime, there's three months of the year that he can be out here six days a week and the rest of the season, he's out here seven days a week. As far as fishing like this, they got one buoy and that's attached depending on what they're doing, right. but multiple traps right. and the traps act as the anchors. So there's no anchor, the traps are the anchor. You pull them all up, and then you drop them back in the line. They're fishing a mountain range, so you, they follow the contour of what it's like underneath 
uh, and drop their traps in line into the valleys. Thank you so much to Big Bill and to Billy and Winnie for inviting us out on the boat today. This has been an epic adventure and one that we're not going to forget. Wonderful. Look at that, Lila. <laughs> oh my gosh. Biggest lobster you ever caught? A uh, 19 pound. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel it? No. Is that because of the little one? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, do it like them the last. You keep crying, guys. Put them right here. Yeah, I hear that's how the real lobstermen do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang them on your suspenders, Joe. Joe's gonna be a star. Oh, he's doing it. Okay, that's he's not gonna do it. He's like, he knows what you're doing. <laughs> oh, you're not giving up. No, no. no! no! Why don't I just stay up here and take a selfie with me oh, okay. and everybody in the background? Down here? Yeah. Okay. What? This one's at the Oh, wow. It's how big it is. Yeah. Do you all feel this shell What? Oh, that's so cute. Enjoy. Phil. Enjoy. Thank you very much. You that's better amazing. Know that you, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, you... I'm an official Mainer now. I feel like I'm complete. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good one. Don't climb in the mountains. It's going on a lot of people. That's what it is. Absolutely. Let's do it. Bye. Thanks again, Bill. Yeah, you're welcome. It's amazing. Nice to meet you, Awesome. Nice to meet you, Joe. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Big Billy. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I was joking earlier, but I legit feel like a proper Mainer now that I've been on a lobster boat. We've so, like been initiated even though we've lived here almost our entire lives. I did kind of go on there with sandals, so I don't know <laughs> if that really counts. Corey we goes just, everywhere with sandals, you guys know this. We just bathed in dawn really quick because there's a little bit of a lingering smell. Poor Lily took a quick shower. <laughs> Oh, we've got to go and rush her to her driver's ed class. She's going to sit in a driver's ed class, stinking up the whole place. <laughs> I'm like, no, really, no one's going to want to sit in there. <laughs> uh, oh my I don't gosh. think we're going to have time to do the lobsters tonight. Lily's got to go to driver's ed. We're going to save the lobster for tomorrow. Yeah. And I was telling Corey as we were like coming back out, there was something so cool when he talked about really feeling like a Mainer. There's something so cool about... Wait, 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 wait. Say that in one just second, just one second. Okay. Did we say that we brought three lobsters back? I showed them. There's, three lobsters I'm that about Big Bill lobster. so graciously gave to us. Thank you so much for the day out, Billy and Whitney and Bill. Like it was unbelievable. And then on top of it, they like handed us lobster. Uh -huh. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. But there was something so special about pulling back into Portland Harbor on the back of a lobster boat with like the the deck all cleaned off and fresh and all the containers filled with lobster and just kind of like waving at everybody going through like you kind of have like a different there's a little bit of pride going on there oh my gosh yeah. not that i like pulled in any lobster today no. No, we didn't. but it was just the experience of being out there it's a very like old fashioned feeling uh business yes out yes. on the water we talked a about how ton mean of camaraderie out on yes Casco Bay. all of these fishermen coming up and like saying hi to bill and you know, Bill telling that he's got all of his family with him and friends and all that kind of stuff. Like, it, it's just, I don't know and how to this, describe it. All the stories, you round a bend and Bill's got a story about Every something place. that happened there as he was, because he's been on the water for 40 years. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Unbelievable. That's our entire lifetime. <sighs> yes. Okay, so one more thing. Pat, I don't know your last name, but you gave me a spot to put my truck right there on the wharf with very limited parking. You moved your truck. Thank so we much. could park there and go out on the boat all day I didn't day get long. a shot of where the truck was, but it looked cool there. It looked like, it looked right at home on the <laughs> wharf. 
Uh, it did. Such a good day. Kids, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about, like, it took me 40 years to get on a lobster boat. You guys have already accomplished it. What do you think? Like a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for everything. We are going to get Lily to drive her that tonight, and... That's We're officially Mainers. We are yeah. officially Mainers. Okay, we got some time to cook our lobsters finally. My mom's here, my dad's here, Jess's mom and her new dad. Well, maybe I'll say new dad. Sure, he's his stepdad, new dad. Yeah, sure. new dad. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do some surf and turf. So we're gonna do some lobsters that we got off the boat yesterday and we're gonna do some steak. So I put my dad in charge of the lobsters. My parents brought some steak over, so we're gonna cook some steak and lobster. All right, so <laughs> steak's out here on the smoker. Just heating it up. Just some steak tips, it's funny that um, steak tips is kind of what I grew up on here out in uh, in Maine and you can't find steak tips everywhere so I don't even really know what the deal is but we're back here and we're gonna have some steak tips. Go inside and check out the, uh, the lobster progress. I think we're just going to steam them. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to cook lobster but that's how we're gonna do it. All right Dad, how's the lobster progress? We're gonna get some boiling water, put the salt in, couldn't find any lemon. That one's trying to get out. You need some lemon? I'll get you some lemon. So we got three lobsters in here. Not everybody likes lobster, so three should be enough. This guy's pretty feisty. Yeah, he is pretty feisty. He's got, got a mandible there that he just had opened up. I don't know why he closed it. Did you say mandible? Yeah, whatever that thing is. All right, no, I went with it. Yeah, okay, it. the water's come to a boil and then we're going to put them in and then you then you start your cook time and generally it's 13 to 18 minutes of it actually boiling right correct help me dad yes that's absolutely correct <laughs> a little bit of salt in there and see they immediately start to turn red so and we're not completely submerging them we're going to actually nope, partially actually, steam them right yeah you steam them so if you go down to the your local, in Maine at least, if you go to the local Hannaford or food place, then they'll steam them for you. Yeah, at the same price, right? Yeah, same price. Yeah. Okay, let's go check on the steaks. Oh, yeah. All fogged up. Look at that charred edge. That's what I'm after. Did you hear it? You didn't hear the lobsters scream? Stop. Yeah, you know, she's like, I'm not falling for that. Oh. What are we doing? What's our time frame? Ten seconds left. Alright, let's just do it. Ten no, you seconds. No, you to go off. It doesn't matter, it's not science. It is science. Bella. Hey Bella. <laughs> Alright, here comes the big reveal. I already steamed it up with the uh, with the grill. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now let's eat them. So we got three cooking areas: lobsters in the house, steak outside, and Instapot mashed potatoes inside the RV. So we're we're just making it difficult. As far as these steaks, I just put a rub on them. Uh, Kinder's all-purpose. I don't use it that often, but I figured I'd give it a shot and hot and fast on this grill. So I got it set to 500. So the smoker's just cooking like a regular grill. That's how I like it. That's why I'm hot and fast, so the insides don't get done that much, but you get that nice caramelized char on the outside. That is what I'm after. Typically what I'll use is just Kinder's, um, the blend. It's just salt, pepper, garlic, you know, just, just simple. Okay, how are we doing? Good. Okay, so good, two good, things good. are going on in here. That's when right. you're having lobster, this you need is the a, most important. You need a pail of butter. <laughs> I don't know if that's a pail, but it's and, a lot uh, of butter. I like lemon. Yes, and you need lemon. Here are the mashed potatoes. That's right. Instapot mashed potatoes. Best ever. If you do not have an Instapot, I don't care if you live in an RV or in a house. My mom best disappeared. Ever. <laughs> She's like, I'm not on film. See ya. She's like, I'm out of here. Even outside, you started filming, and she was like, um. <laughs> So All right, tell me about the mashed potatoes in the Insta Pot. We like a little bit of skins on ours, so I shave half a potato, I cut it up just like I would do in a pan on the stove, I put it in the pot, I rinse them, fill the water just to the top of the potatoes, and I hit manual for 10 minutes, and then you drain them and they're done, and you keep them in the nice hot pot, 
You don't have to put them in anything else. They stay warm. Salt, pepper, butter, okay. sour cream. We're uh, two minutes out. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to cover these with tin foil and kind of just let them rest for about 5-10 minutes and we're ready to rip. Okay, so eating lobster is kind of a messy ordeal. So we are, we've taken the operation outside, I don't know if you can notice. We've even got levelers under the, uh, the table. You use those levelers for everything. The idea with lobsters, you break it apart and you stick it into the butter as you're breaking it apart. And it's not just about the, the taste of the lobster, it's about the, the experience, just making a mess and, and just digging into it. That's what, that's what I love about it. So. I won't film eating lobster because it is a messy ordeal, but we'll just show a couple little things. Did you mention that I don't eat lobster? She's not going to have any lobster. She's going to eat the steak. I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably going to eat the steak. The steak looks pretty good, but I just, I love, I was just saying, I just love tearing into lobsters. It's just a fun process. <laughs> it is a fun process. Uh, Tom just said that I wasn't a mainer because I don't eat lobster, and I was like, I went out on the lobster boat yesterday yeah. and caught the lobster, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you caught the lobster. So I get to say I'm a mainer, though. So, yeah, it right? took a whole day to get the smell out, so you're a, you're a mainer. Now, main shrimp, I'll eat any day. Yeah. I need it. All right, let's go have dinner. So we're all. Who got the big one? Good. Tom got the big one. Oh. I'll get the big one. All right. Tom got the big bad boy. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, nice. steak yeah. tips. Okay. Yum yum. All right, Dad. All right, what's your favorite part of the lobster, Dad? Oh, definitely the claws. Definitely the claws. Okay. Yeah, the claws. Same with me. I like the claw Tom, meat better. What do you like? Though? Definitely the tail. You ah, like really? I love it. Okay. okay. All all right. Look, do you smell some food? <laughs> 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 Poor right. puppy. Let's see. Surf and turf, baby. Surf and turf. <laughs>